Hey guys. It's been a while, obviously. Um, I uploaded a video about police. Some people did not like that. Um, well, I've been away for a while, so I kind of need to talk about that and where I've been. And that's where this woman told me about my future, and I wanted to make a video about it, so let's get right into it. I talked to some of y'all on Instagram, on my other Instagram. By the way, I'm coming down with a cold. Just, if you hear my nasalness, it sounds gross. I talked to some of y'all on my personal Instagram about, you know, you guys are asking me to transvestigate these people, transvestigate that, and I just wasn't able to because I was away. I was in North Bay by the Chesapeake Bay. That was an accident, okay? I was like that, and I went like that for all you people who think I'm a show. Um, after I came back from there, it was like this thing at my church. You know, we were going there having a revival camp. And it was really good, and I'm gonna get into that. So, before all of that, my background in in religion or Christianity or God and stuff like that, my background, I grew up Pentecostal. We had to go to church on Saturdays, Fridays and Saturdays. Well, what I remember it to be was keeping the Sabbath day, not buying anything, not working, not cleaning, not cooking, not using the oven really, you know, stuff like that. It was very strict and then we realized that you know that's not it and some people chose to stick to that and some people went back to keeping the sabbath before all this happened this woman told me about my future which was is very important of my whole life i knew that there was a god and i believed in god but i didn't fully understand god i didn't and i didn't know that i didn't understand now everything makes sense everything is crystal clear it's really good so basically what happened was me and robert started going to this church we had only been going for like a month and the youth pastor told the congregation that there's a spot there's some people that they need some volunteers in the kitchen you know we're gonna go to this revival camp we need people to help you know serve you know like when it's time to eat serve and clean the dishes. Me and Rob were in the back cleaning the dishes. The funny part, the funny thing about this whole thing is we were not going to go. We thought we would have missed out on all of the sermons and all the, you know, the preaching that was going on. And we were like, man, that's not cool. You know, like we want to go, if we're going to be doing this, man, we better be getting some of this. So we kind of considered not going for like a couple of days. And then we was like, wait, if it was Jesus, Jesus would have been there serving. How are we going to really not do, we're not going to volunteer just because we think we ain't going to get this and we, that's mass self-centered, that's mass selfish. So we were like, wow, that was, that was mean. That's rude. We're going to be there. So we go there. It's cool. We you know, we ain't thinking much of it. Um, it's a whole kitchen crew from our church and it's mad cool. And we meet some people in Jersey and, and they're mad cool. And, um, a lot of stuff happened and it's just not, I'm just not about to bore you with like a 20 minute video, which I probably will actually. So there's this thing called a prophetic word and a word of knowledge. If you don't know what these are, listen to me. A, a prophetic word is someone or is, is when someone that is a believer and is a prophet gives you a word about yourself and also like gives you a word from God. They heard from God about you. Like they tell you things about stuff that they shouldn't know because you don't know them. So this woman, Krista Smith, her husband was preaching that night. Sean Smith was preaching. She, she was going around giving people words. Now that day I was like, God, would you give me a word? Would you just reveal yourself to me would you give me an, an encounter and I did of course you know you don't hear well some people do hear God audibly you know that'd be a blessing if I could you know if I could get that you know that'd be great Jesus if you hear me but you know I was just like in the bathroom I was just like God can you just I really I know you're there I just I want to I want a reason to do something you know I want a reason to move and so Man, I'm gonna leave the vi some this really dope girl from my church. I didn't meet her until just until that night. Um, she sent me a video of me getting my words, so I'll play that at the end of the video. 
it was crazy. I was sitting there and I was the first one to get called out. Or not, oh, well, my bad, I wasn't the first one. But anyway, she's like looking around. Well, the thing is, earlier that day though, bro, she walked right past me and I was like, yo, can you just like, you know, like all I was thinking was, I don't, and I didn't know that she was prophetic. I had no idea who she was. Like, I, she just walked past me and I was just like, whatever, yeah, I know your husband's this, yeah, he's cool. Like, he, that dude gave some good work. Anyways, what happened was I was sitting there and then she is talking and she's, she's looking dead at me already. And I was like, is she looking at me? And she says, so there's a young woman um, wearing a black leather... Uh, if I were to count, give me one, two, three, four, five, and then she she points to me, and I was like, oh my gosh. I say God, but oh my gosh. And I got up, and I was standing like this with my hands, and I was swaying back and forth, man. And she started telling me, she was like, you got this, you got this writing in you, you got this creativity in you, you got all these things that you that you that you're passionate about passionate about but it's from God and he's he's working through you and he wants you to exude him through your works and I'm like okay so that was a word of knowledge word of knowledge is when somebody tells you about yourself basically but you ain't never talked to them so how would you know unless it was from God so that was God revealing himself to me so not only did she say that though she said that I would capture heaven she said there's she sees art and I'm like, I don't draw and I still don't, but she said that I'm going to capture heaven, meaning I'm going to, am I going to draw heaven? Am I going to like write a book about it? You know, because if I see it, then I mean, I'm a writer. So she said all these things and I was just bawling. I was like, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. And then like, I like before that, I was so self-conscious about what I'm doing, about this channel, about um, life coaching. I'm like, what if the stuff that I love and want to be doing, what if that's not what God wants? It really, it really freaked me out and it scared me, but I was continuing to do it and I wasn't even praying into it. I was just like, well, actually I kind of was, you know, I was like, God, if this is for you, like, I didn't know how to look for a sign. She said that she's seen colors coming out of my hands and she said she's seen the Holy Spirit over me giving me these ideas. And she said that it's ordinary, it's not ordinary. It's, it's these new ideas that's going to help all this help bring light to people and it was just beautiful and that night I cried out and I really actually did get encountered like I had got encountered once before but not like this and I seen colors coming out of my hand out of my arms it was this constant thing it was like anger coming out of my arms fear bitterness um sadness depression all of it was just leaving and, and I literally felt peace like there I've been going through a lot of things and I literally feel peace right now and I'm at peace right now. It's beautiful. It's beautiful and it's love. It's love, Joe Scott. That brings me to, there was a, situ a situation in the kitchen. There was this young kid that said some weird stuff to, to Rob. And he was like, yo, stop. And it was getting, he thought that it was gonna get physical because what he was saying is very inappropriate. Um, we talked to people, we talked to the people, the head of the people that was there like, yo, why is he saying this, da, 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 all this conflict. And then, what ended up happening was Rob had a, a heart to, you know, go up to him. Don't feel weird around me. Like, I forgive you. He blessed him with money. And other people from our crew was doing the same thing. He was like, I don't need the money. I'll give it to someone who needs it. I don't need the money. Now, we we all the way, we're like in the boonies. North Bay, Chesapeake. It was like mad country out there. It was like really weird vibe from people and that's why all that was happening so not only did rob do that then he all of a sudden holy spirit touched his heart and he had to change a heart since we we're part of the kitchen crew we offered we told them to come to one of our services bro and we said we will take your shift all you got to do is serve we will do everything else and y'all go ahead and they sat in on the service and it went the kid encountered God. He said, I never went to church like this before. I've been to church all my life and I've never experienced church like this. Background. Can you ignore it? Can you try to ignore it? I really don't want to stop this video. He said he never experienced church like this. He encountered God. He accepted Christ. He saved. And so were some of his friends in there and his friends were wild too, man. 
a revival camp. That's what we went there to do, though. You know, bro? Oh, but, um, you know, Rob was just getting, basically, he was just getting words for people, you know? He was being very prophetic. He was very prophetic. The Holy Spirit was moving in him a whole bunch. He still is. And ever since then, I was like, yo, how am I going to come on this channel and, and be so angry about these transgenders? You know? It's not even that I was angry. It's just, where's the grace at? You know, I was not, I was not filled with love. And I apologize for anyone that I have offended. I still believe that these celebrities are transgender and it's not right to be lying to folks, but I do apologize for offending people with my tone and my jokes. That's not cool. And I haven't felt convicted to take them down. I just don't know if I'm going to stop making them or continue make, continuing making them, you know? I think people do need to know that they are being lied to and they're being deceived. But my focus right now, like where I'm at right now, like this is the only video I have planned. After this, I ain't got nothing else planned. I've been really thinking about like, is it necessary to, you know, keep constantly transvestigating people? And I think, I definitely feel like I definitely will still do that. I just think that it's going to be in a different light. And if you think I'm going to be having jokes, like, I don't know. I don't want to say too much. And then something else happens because sometimes I do be in the moment, but I realized that I was saying that I was making those videos in a place that was not in love and I don't want to do that. In all reality, I'm not, I wasn't there when they got surgery, but you can... The evidence is there. It's like, bruh, what are those Adonis belts? What are those, you know? I just wanted to say that. I hope y'all understand. Like, I'm not completely stopping. That's pretty much what's going on right now. Another really cool thing that happened right after the revival camp was we went to um, Power and Love Conference, which Todd White hosted. I don't know if you guys know who that is. Todd White and Dan Muller was there, and it was beautiful. But, oh, excuse me. I had never seen them live. It was great. But the best part about that conference wasn't seeing Todd White and seeing Dan Muller. It was actually when I would go up to go use the bathroom or when Rob would go use the bathroom. We would have so many encounters with people and like we would give people words and it's crazy. We went to, we went to Outback and you know, Rob was getting wrecked. You know, he just had this passion, he still has this passion, but he, he had, it was so intense and it was the first time and I was so overwhelmed and it was just, he was just constantly having words for people and like helping and telling people about God. It was just like, is this real right now? It was crazy because I was dying for some life coaching clients. If some of y'all know this, I was, I just got my license and I'm like, yo, why am I getting clients? I know that I'm gonna be a, a good coach because I love people. I want to be there for people, you know, help them through school, help them with their relationships because people wasn't there for me, like not on purpose, but there just wasn't people that I felt. Anyways, I realized that I wasn't in the right mind. I didn't have, I wasn't led by the spirit and God doesn't want me to, this is what God wants me to do. And when I begin to do it, he wants me to do it with the heart of him. That's why I haven't had any clients, but that's why I want to talk about um, love. I don't know if I should keep that for another video. I feel like this video is too long. I'm looking at the time. It says seven, 17 minutes and like 50 seconds. I'm obviously going to edit it. It's probably going to be shorter than this. I'm just, I just want y'all to know like there is absolutely like no fear, um, no bitterness, no sadness, no anxiety. When I tell you I was, I'm someone that is prone to, to anxiety like the day that we were leaving for the trip bro we were all inside the church it was like everybody like you know how you sit in your church and like everybody sitting down it was like everybody was standing up out the door waiting to leave and i just couldn't deal with that many people I'm like i don't know how i don't know like 90 percent of these people and this is i started crying like that's how anxious i was i walked out and um that's that's really just my testimony right there Y'all thought I was going to be talking about like a sidekick or something? No. <laughs> Not them sorcerers. No. What you thought this was. But thank you guys for watching this. I would like to hear some of y'all's testimonies. That'd be beautiful if you leave them in the comments. For for those of you that watched my Pray for Police, some of y'all was getting hyped and getting mad. It's like, yo, what are you, what are you to do? You're just going to hate people just because they're doing Like, yes, they're doing that. But literally, it's like forgive them literally they don't know what they are doing like literally forgive them 
and, and, and it's not necessarily forgive them because maybe that it hasn't happened to you but it's just like is that producing life is constantly hating people producing producing life no is it, is it fruitful like what do you get from it more mad and more sad and more scared or whatever you know you don't get anything positive positive out of it so if you don't get nothing positive out of it why is you stressing your life on it so much you know, I, don't, I hate when people are like, oh, I'm a Christian, but this and but that. Well, you ain't, you're not producing life. You're not, you, that's not love, you know, like hating people and types of people, hating groups. It's, that's not love, you know, and it's just like, you, you're not, you're not, you know what, that's, you, you know what I mean. As far as, you know, these celebrities go, like when it comes to that, I feel like. And I'm always on the fence. It's like these two things that go across my mind. It's like, yeah, like you can get saved no matter who you are. These celebrities, they didn't do it to themselves. And it's like, no, they didn't. But you see, they're not, they're not them. They are totally possessed by something else. And I just don't think that whatever any celebrity, celebrity says about God, I don't think it's true. I feel like it's staged and I just, I just don't. Do you understand what I mean when I say that? Like celebrities, Chris Pratt talking about God. I don't think that's true. Can celebrities be saved? I don't know. I honestly don't. In my heart, I don't think they can. But you know, nothing is impossible with God. So no, it's gonna be. It's gonna have to be some serious casting out the demons in these fools. But something about blaspheming the Holy Spirit or something like that. I don't know. I have no idea. You know, all this is speculation. I thank you guys for watching this. I'm literally ending the video now. I just made a new tier on my Patreon though. Some of you guys always talk about my voice and you like my voice, like a thank you. And I wanna talk like that, obviously. And it's crazy because I used to hate my voice, but you guys like it. So I thought about, you know, reading a book, reading books of the Bible or reading um, chapters of your favorite books or something like that. If you guys want me to do that, then, you know, let me know and you can pay me for that. If you like my voice and you like to read, why wouldn't I just read you a, a nighttime story? Make it appropriate though. I'm not reading no crazy, crappy, creepy stuff. So go ahead and check out the link in my bio if that's something you're interested in. If not, then I'd encourage you to continue to just um, support me and support this channel. Um, literally, you have no idea how much your your contributions like help my channel. You like actually get me from point A to point B. Like I take the bus, so. It just takes me a lot longer to walk. It takes me like about an hour to walk from my house to Panera to do the things and, you know, but I just thank you guys so much. And I feel like I need to, you, you know what? Also what I'm going to start doing, I'm going to be more active on Patreon. There's some things that I got to tell y'all um, about my actual situation. Like my actual situation is very iffy and on, on Patreon, I can share with you um privately because some stuff i don't want to be on youtube i don't want everyone to know everything but you know so just go check it out i'd really appreciate it and you know we can communicate that it'd be beautiful so give this video a thumbs up share with your people if you have any questions about my testimony then please um go ask me on instagram do not ask me on this video because it's gonna get like gazillion freaking comments and I'm not going to be able to filter them out. I'd rather you guys go go ask me on Sky's Insta story on Instagram. If you can't for some reason, some people are saying they can't find it on there. Look up the sky is indeed falling and then you'll you'll find my channel, the little flatter thing. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Thank you guys. Love you. See you later. Should I sing something? I I wrote a song a long time ago about um the industry and that's only when I knew about the music. Should I sing some of it? I feel like I should. And unfortunately, the back, the, the beat that I got it from was from Timbaland and, and Nelly. But like, I don't know. Tell me which side of you. No, I'm not going to say I'm so ugly. I'm sorry. Fresh.
concepts that are come, coming from you. Because what I love about you, God created you to be an original. Yeah. Like there's something in you that's like, I don't want to just repeat what's already out there. I'm not interested in being an, an echo. I'm interested, God, in being the design you created me to be. It's like you're this free spirit. I feel like God's like, I created her that way. Like you weren't supposed to just fit the mold. Like you're this beautiful expression of a heavenly father that made you really unique. And there's even this way of words, there's writing in you. Um, it's funny. Pray into this, see what you get, but the pictures I'm seeing, what I'm doing right now, just so you kind of understand, I'm actually seeing pictures of the spirit over her. So I'm describing, I'm trying to articulate what I've seen over her. Literally, as I prophesied over you, I see a computer screen and I actually see a website. You're designing it, but it's about things you're passionate that God's giving it to you. And what's There is a, there's a 